Hi Girls on the Run, it's me, Gwen Jorgensen, and today is all about shoes. They're one of the most important pieces of equipment for every runner. Shoes connect us to the earth with every step. Check out this pair of running shoes. They have over a thousand miles on them. They're probably pretty similar to your athletic shoes. For beginner runners, one pair of shoes with a few key characteristics will put you on the right track. The best running shoes start with the right fit. It's most important that they're comfortable. You can look for something that's lightweight, but also that has some cushioning. Many people like mesh to keep air flowing when your feet get warm during a workout. Since most people land heel to toe, a thick heel wedge is recommended. Running requires a lot of energy and puts your body to the test. Wearing the right shoes will help you keep your joints and muscles happy and healthy as you run. If you're planning your first 5K with Girls on the Run, make sure to break in your shoes. My approach for any race is nothing new on race day. I want to make sure that I'm comfortable with all of my equipment so that I can focus on the race. The last thing I want to do is be thinking about how my shoes fit. All right, everyone, now it's time to dive into the STEM side of running in the Chevron Tech Minute. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. When it comes to running shoes, it's all about energy return. My training shoes give me about 85% return with every step. That means the force I create by running, the vast majority of it is returned back to me. The energy from each step rebounds like a spring to help propel me for the next one. During a 5K, your feet will strike the ground a few thousand times. For a marathon, that number could be 60,000 or more. So maximizing energy return on every step means we can run as efficiently and effectively as possible. I actually write down the date on the bottom of them and I've been wearing them so much that that date is, it's just a blue line right now. So that kind of helps me keep track of how old the shoes are. But as well on the bottom, you can see that the traction treads are really worn out if you look at these brand new pair of shoes. They're also dirty, um, and we always know that feeling fast is about having equipment that's fresh, and the science of it, having that 85% return, is gonna be much less with a pair of shoes that are older. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you learned a bit about how important shoes are in running. Learning these fundamentals now will help set you up for a successful future. Chevron is fueling communities, which is why we and Girls on the Run Greater Houston are all partnered together. We want to inspire you to reach your goals in running, school, and life. No matter your goals, sometimes reaching that means starting out with the basics, like shoes. Until next time, get out there and run.